Building true circular economies with Bitcoin as a real medium of exchange for the payment of goods and services is an absolutely essential ingredient for escaping the clownery of fiat world. And as those who watch the channel frequently know, I have made this a real priority for 2023 to highlight different tools that enable merchants to accept payment in Bitcoin. And that is why today I am very excited to be taking a look at Ibex Pay. Let's jump in. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ian Major. I'm an entrepreneur, Bitcoin Club, and all around raging capitalist. And I'm very excited for today's video because Ibex Pay takes a very different set of trade offs than some of the other options I've covered on the channel. We've looked at things like just straight up BTC Pay Server, we've looked at things through a combination of uh, voltage infrastructure plus the embedded kind of BTC pay server app that you can get there. But today we're going to be taking a look at Ibex pay. And if you go to any merchant or business owner and you tell them, Hey, look, you could receive payments over the lightning network and get rid of the vast majority of these card network fees that you pay to the card networks and the acquiring bank and the issuing bank in this traditional payment model, every merchant is going to say that sounds great. Assuming two things are true. One, that it's easy, and two, that it provides the flexibility to receive the payment in Bitcoin or, dare we say, in fiat as well. This is simply the reality and is going to be the reality for quite some time. So providing that optionality for merchants is key, and those two dimensions, I think, is really where Ibex Pay excels. So you're not going to want to miss a thing from today. For those returning to the channel, welcome back, my friends, as always. It is a pleasure to have you. And for those new to the channel, I welcome you as well. If you like this type of content, I invite you to consider subscribing and join us in our growing merry gang in cyberspace. I cover all manner of Bitcoin related content, including a whole slew of tutorials on how to acquire it, secure it, privacy best practices, running your own node, accepting Bitcoin as payment like today and more. With all that out of the way though, let's jump into the meat for today. I'm gonna to start with a very brief overview of what Ibex Pay is, and then we're gonna launch straight into a tutorial to show what it all looks like. All right, so here we are on ibexpay.io. I will of course link this in the description down below. Just a quick word on Ibex Pay. Ibex Pay is a part of Ibex, which was founded back in 2018 as a Bitcoin infrastructure company, very well known for their Lightning Network uh, enterprise solutions, and especially in the Latin America region. And the reason I'm excited to cover this, it's a solution that takes very different trade-offs from some of the options that we have covered on this channel in the past. So for example, I did a video on BTC Pay Server quite some time ago as a kind of like do it all yourself sort of version. And while that is absolutely an option, it does take a good amount of effort, right? You have to be running all your own infrastructure. You have to be running your own node. You have to be managing channel liquidity. Now I do have tutorials on this channel for all of those things. You know, if you're more of a hobbyist or if you want to kind of pers receive personal Bitcoin payments, maybe donations, things like that, that could still be a very good option. And the reason that excels is it is just fully, fully self-sovereign, fully, fully self-custody right from the very get-go. It's your infrastructure, it's everything. I then did a video, which is a little bit of a blended version, where I showed how to use voltage infrastructure. So it's still your lightning node, uh, but it is hosted on your behalf via voltage, which has a handy BTC pay server app as well. So that's a little bit more of a blended option. That is certainly an easier option than the very first instance. But Ibex Pay today, at least out of those three, and certainly in relation to anything else I've seen, is the easiest by far. And the reason for that, the trade-off that it does make, is that you are using their node, you are using their infrastructure. And so how this works is as your business gets payments, you will then get daily payouts either to a Bitcoin address or alternatively to your bank account in fiat. Uh, now, that latter option, I believe, is only supported in certain countries. So you can contact them to figure out 
kind of exactly what's support and what's not. But as I think you will see, this is just a clean, clean experience. And if you ask yourself honestly, is it really the case that every small, medium-sized business owner on planet Earth is gonna run their own lightning node, they're gonna run all their own infrastructure, you are simply kidding yourself. And so while I'm always going to encourage that for folks who can make it happen, you know, if you're a business owner, you wanna focus on the business. You don't wanna focus on channel management, liquidity management, and all that good stuff. And so IBEX takes care of all of that for you. There is the trade-off there, but I do think that the daily or every 24 hour payouts is a very nice way to sort of hedge that reliance. Okay. So now that we've talked about that conceptually, let's dive into it. So we're just gonna go and hit get started. We're gonna put in some basic information, the name of the business, uh, a valid email, first name, if you got referred by someone and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out real quick. So I've got Rager Major Shop. You can see there's a ton of different countries here, right? So, you know, this is a really, really nice part of it. And so I'll go ahead and hit the US accept the terms and conditions and we'll go ahead and hit register. Okay, so it's now says check your email. So I will go ahead and check my email and I get an email like the following. So IBEX pay, welcome, let's hit confirm. All right, and we'll set a password there. And boom, here I am in my IBEX pay dashboard. So right away you'll see on this home tab, I can see whether for today, yesterday, this month, this year, or a custom time frame. I can see all the relevant statistics. How many sats did I receive? What is that in fiat? What is pending to be dispersed? And all the sort of details that we will take a look at once we make a transaction momentarily. So that's really nice. Right off the board, you you know, of course, get the export to CSV. Very, very nice stuff. Now, one of the first things we need to set up is what's called an account. Think of this like mapping to different parts of your business. Maybe you have three stores for your business, and so you would have one account per store. Or perhaps you have within a store, maybe multiple departments or multiple areas of the store that you want to uh, kind of manage separately. You want to kind of manage those P&Ls separately. Uh, think of that as the account. So for my simplistic purpose, I'll just uh, add a single one. Go ahead and hit add. And there we go. So I've got my account added. Now I can also add managers. And so for example, if my business is a little more complex, I have you know either accountants or bookkeepers or uh, just managers running the business day to day, I can add those individuals by simply adding the name and email, and then I can come back and link that as appropriate to the account. So this makes sure that, for example, if you have uh, a manager that only needs access to one particular account, you can make that linkage accordingly. So pretty simple stuff there. And then really the big piece here are what are called BPTs or Bitcoin payment terminals. So this is the payment terminal that's going to actually allow me to accept Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and add the Bitcoin payment terminal. I'm going to go ahead and hit something like, just say something like payment terminal one. I'm going to link that to the main Rager Major Shop account. And we have got USD populated by virtue of the country we selected in the registration step. So we'll go ahead and hit add. And so this is ready to roll. Let's say that this is on a tablet, for example. I can literally just log in to my IVEX pay, right? There's no need to host all this stuff yourself. I can just click on this little button on the left. And this opens up a clean looking little payment terminal. And so let's try this out. Let's just say, you know, $1 or about 3,500 sats. We'll go ahead and hit charge. And I'm presented with an invoice that has a countdown timer of 15 minutes. And so what I've done is I've just pulled up a random wallet on my phone. This is my Zebedee wallet. I'm just going to go ahead and scan the payment. I'll go ahead, confirm and pay. And boom, there you go. Dollar received, payment sent. So it is as easy as that. So I'll go ahead and hit close. If I come back to my main IBEX dashboard and I go to home, I will see the details of what all just happened. So I received a payment of a dollar and there was a 18 sat transaction fee there. And so to be clear, that is how IBEX pay makes its money. That uh, 18 sats as a percentage of the total sats charge, which is 3576, comes out to 0.5%. You compare that to the you know three, 4% that merchants are used to paying 
that is pretty darn good. Now let's come back to the payment terminal. And again, I could get to that by just going to BPTs and launching using this icon here. What's also nice is you can click on the little Ibex symbol here and display just the, the link to this itself. So if you need to get this on a different device, so for example, maybe I wanna have it on my phone. So I will just scan this and open it on my phone and now I've turned my phone into a handy little Bitcoin payment terminal. So it really depends on how you want to do this for your business. This is somewhat assuming that it's an in-person business or a brick and mortar, right? You've got this logged in on any tablet or you've got this on an employee's phone or whatever the case is. And then away you go in receiving payments. So let's close out of this and let's talk about uh, the settings tab because this is where you would put in your payout information. And so I could edit this and put in a Bitcoin address. Now this is an on-chain address. So I'm wondering if they'll enable off-chain payout sometime in the future, or you could link your bank account. So you could put your bank details in and they would have a daily payout to your bank in fiat. And furthermore, you can even use this slider to maybe say, Hey, I want to receive 50% in Bitcoin, 50% in fiat or whatever the case is. So that is super, super clean. Now, do be advised, there is some additional files that they will request. This is the trade-off. You have some know your business uh, documentation that you will need to upload in order to unlock that fiat option. And that just sort of is what it is. So do be advised of that. But doesn't matter for the Bitcoin payout, you can just put that address in and there you go. You can also scroll further down and change you know, your password if you want, add multi-factor authentication, which is probably a good move, et cetera, et cetera. But we've somewhat implicitly been referencing an in-person brick and mortar business as we've gone through. So you may be wondering, well, how can I integrate this with uh, perhaps an e-commerce store? And the good news is there are a variety of ways that you can do that. So today I'm going to be taking you through an example using Shopify, but they do have other options. And they also have actually a really nice uh, support link here that provides, you know, tutorials. Uh, you've got, in addition to Shopify, Shopify, you've got WooCommerce, you've got the API documentation. So there's a lot of different ways that you can add this to an e-commerce store. The easiest would certainly be the Shopify or WooCommerce plugins. Um, or you have some more custom integration options if you're a little more technical or if you have a more custom e-commerce setup for your store. So I'm in my little test store here for Shopify. So I'm all logged into Shopify. And what I'm gonna do is come over to apps.shopify.com slash Ibex pay payment gateway. I will put this in the description as well. And so I'll go ahead and add the app. And so as you can see, it says, do you want to install this? And we do, so we'll hit install app. And so now I'm presented with the following screen. It says link a virtual BPT with your store. So we'll go ahead and hit add virtual BPT, something like that. Uh, I can link it to the same overall account or maybe you could have a separate account attached to this one if you wish. Uh, we'll go ahead and set the USD. And then there is a field for the tax percentage that you can set as appropriate depending on your jurisdiction. We'll go ahead and hit add. So it says virtual BPT added successfully. Now I will hit the link button and it says Shopify link updated successfully. Go to Sh Shopify payment settings here at the bottom left. And all we should have to do here is hit activate Ibex payment gateway. So there we go. It says payment gateway activated. So we've now added this as a payment option and I can validate that by going to payments, coming down and seeing the Ibex pay payment gateway. So now let's come over to the store. So here's our terrific test store that we use for Jolts, which as you may know, I'm co-founder of a Bitcoin rewards company called Jolts. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this, this handsome product here. We'll go ahead and buy it now. And so I'll go ahead and put in all the normal stuff, shipping address, email, right? And then here's where I can scroll down and select the pay with Bitcoin powered by Ibex payment option. And it says, after clicking pay now, you will be redirected to pay with Bitcoin powered by Ibex to complete your purchase securely. So go ahead and hit pay now. And then lo and behold, here is the invoice for me to pay for my order. And I can even do that in on-chain or Lightning if I wish. So I will once again come in here and just scan this with one of my Lightning wallets. There it is. Let's confirm and pay. 
And there you go, payment sent, transaction has been paid, the order is being processed. And my, 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 what is this? I've earned some Bitcoin back. Uh, so this gives you a little sneak peek into Jolts as well. So if you're a merchant accepting payment in Bitcoin, why not give it as well as a loyalty reward to your customers? Uh, I can just hit the claim reward and I'm taken straight to my reward dashboard. I've got my sats added here. Uh, I can click this. I can submit a withdrawal request, let's say for 100 sats. And since I'm on desktop, I can just click this LN URL withdraw option and I'll hit confirm for my Albi browser extension. And there you go. So a little, little bonus, little bonus tutorial uh, to see how that can all come together. Again, main focus of this video was obviously IBEX pay and showing how to accept payment. You also saw that sneak peek for some rewards action as well. So very, very clean stuff. And of course, if we come back to our dashboard, we can see there's the payment that was just made. So very, very clean stuff. Again, if you're a merchant, you want to accept payment over lightning, instant settlement, no intermediaries, right? I mean, no chargebacks, lower fee, much lower fees, in fact, than, you know, normal kind of payment methods. You can add a little Bitcoin to your treasury. And now as you can see with IBEX pay, you make it really easy as well. And then boom, you do some jolts rewards. You are in business and ready. With all of that, let's go ahead and conclude today's video. All right, there you have it. Today we took a look at IBEX pay and I may have set a high bar in that intro in terms of ease for the merchant, flexibility of receiving those payouts, but I think it really does hit the mark. This is the type of tool that I think is accessible to a very large subset of the merchant and business owner population out there, whether you're big or small or anything in between. And while we should acknowledge the trade-offs that it makes to achieve those benefits, Net, net, I think this is a very, very good thing for adoption, and I think this is a very, very good thing for Bitcoin. But I'm curious to hear, what are your thoughts? What do you think of IBEX Pay? Are there other solutions you'd like to see covered in future videos? Let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you found this valuable and insightful. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a like. Use the share feature underneath this video. That really does help get this to a broader audience. And I think it's critical for folks to be aware that tools like this exist that make it really easy to accept Bitcoin as payment, flexibly configure what mix you want to actually receive as a payout in Bitcoin versus fiat. I mean, this thing is slick. And if you are so enamored with this content, you want to donate to a club, which really does help me continue to make these videos. You can do so in a number of ways. There's a super thanks button uh, right in YouTube itself. If you're using something like the Get Albi browser extension, you can just click that bad boy and send some sats that way. Or finally, I will have my lightning address and strike account on the final page momentarily. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave this here. As a reminder, every sat counts, especially if you're receiving it in exchange for goods and services. And until next time, my friends, I'll see you then. Yeah.